Morning Church, my name's Jenny. I'm involved in the creative and worship team across a couple of the locations, but um, I would probably call Central Campus uh, my home. And I am really privileged to be able to share a couple of thoughts with you this morning on what I'm believing for in terms of breakthrough for praise and worship for the church. And um, the first scripture really that leaps out to my spirit is Romans 12 verse 1 that says, Therefore, brothers and sisters, I urge you to live a life of living sacrifice, that this is true and proper worship. Um, often we can forget that praise and worship isn't just songs, that it isn't just, you know, that 20 minute slot of a church service or that 20 minute drive with the loud music on or you car wheel praises. Um, but in actual fact, that worship is living your life surrendered to the Lordship, to the Kingship of Jesus. And I am so in faith for us as a church to continue into a deeper level of understanding of what it is to be a living sacrifice. So I just want to encourage some of you today that maybe there's a conversation that you need to not be a part of. Maybe there's somebody that you need to forgive to put yourself down and actually put the kingdom first and forgive. So that's my first thought to encourage your church to be a living sacrifice because that is true and proper worship. When we lay ourselves down and submit to what God wants, that's when we are true and proper worshippers. And then the other thought comes from John 4, 23 that says, now there is a time that is coming and the time is now when the Lord is looking for those who worship in spirit and in truth. Now here, what the spirit means is that part of you that God made alive when you became a Christian to worship with that part of you, not your soul, the seat of your emotion, but your spirit, that bit that God made alive that was dead in sin, that is now alive because you are a believer in Jesus Christ to worship in spirit and in truth. And I am so in faith for us as a church to be able to declare the truth of God in such a way that it shuts down assignments and lies from the enemy and establishes the kingdom within our heart, within our mind and within our lives. What would church look like if instead of coming in and maybe declaring praise of what we'd like God to be or what we think God should be, instead based on Bible truth that he is the alpha, he is the beginning and the end, he is the creator, he is the eternal one, he is the lamp unto my feet, he is my saviour, he is the lifter of shame. If we truly, truly got a hold of the word of God, of the truth of God, and was able to declare that so much so, that when the enemy comes to say, did God really say, we can say, actually, yeah, actually, I do know who God is because in Psalms it says. So when the enemy came earlier this month to say to us as a family, you know, you're not going to sleep, you're not going to have rest straight away. We're looking in Psalms and we're living on the promise that says, well, actually, he's the God that's that never sleeps or slumbers. So we can take rest because he's the God that watches over us. And it established that knowledge of the truth to be able to worship with that made us be able to see God's kingdom established and now we're, we're restful in our house but there was a fight for that so I want to encourage you church to worship in spirit and in truth to know what the bible says about God and to declare that with authority with power so that we're shutting down the lies of the enemy but we're establishing God's kingdom within our lives as well 
Church, what is it that you need to declare over your life? I want you to get in that Bible. I want you to find that truth and I want you to declare it because imagine if us as a church, we we were so robust and resilient in our knowledge of the truth that we would just be taking down the schemes of the enemy, building the kingdom, taking down the schemes of the enemy, building the kingdom. That would be a powerful breakthrough. Church, love you, praying for you, believing for our incredible breakthrough to live life as a living sacrifice and to worship in spirit and truth. Catch you soon.